Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today is episode 116 of Fluke Fridays. And what we're going to do is we are going to go over safety. Um, I think I've done a video similar to this in the past, but unless your mind is a steel trap or you have um, or you're a serious fan, I've watched every one of my videos, you probably haven't seen this one, it's been a while, but I'm going to do one on safety. What makes uh, fluke instruments different, unique, um, why they are safety category rated, why is that important, and then talk about both the multimeters and the, um, and the test leads, and why it's so important to have the proper multimeter or test lead for your environment so that you stay safe and get home to your family, which really is pretty important. So I'm gonna kind of change the camera, point it to the table so we can look at different multimeters I have and we can point some things out. And I'll talk through these safety-wise, why it's so important and why you really do wanna trust a, a trusted name like Fluke with your multimeter as far as safety is concerned because I always say, this is one of those life insurance you get to use before you die. Um, the cost is relatively low to ensure that you have a meter between you and that energy source that is going to fail safely, the meter, and not fail unsafely and get into you and uh, not send you home if you make a mistake, which is very common. You know, if you're anything like me, you will make mistakes. So we want a meter that's going to protect us. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I have a few meters here and some test leads, and we're going to talk through these. So one thing you're going to hear is somebody say category ratings. So you see how this one is category 3, 600 volts? All of the rest of these are going to be dual rated. So they're not just going to say category 3, which this one's category 3, 1000 volts, and category 4, 600 volts. So what does that mean? That means that the meters that have this category rating can handle a higher electrical surge or transient than this guy can and still protect you. So in the category four, 600 volts slash category three, 300 volts, those can handle, I believe up to, they're rated to handle like 8,000 volts in a transient um, before the meter fails. And then after that, hopefully it will fail safely. Um, and so that that's what you're getting and you're getting this with a very reputable brand with fluke now fluke not only meets these standards they're going to far exceed these standards most of these are going to do about double or many of our meters do will double that transient load than what the rating is so again another peace of mind and safety now you kind of look at this so is this just a fluke marketing thing like hey fluke wants you to buy the more expensive meters so they do the safety on these bigger ones no that's not the case you will find that um the smaller the meter the more compact the meter the lower the category rating and the reason is is because you have to have clearance in here so that that electrical um the electrical transient transient can't jump the gap the air gap and get to the others and create this arc flash in your hand basically so um, that's really good. The other thing is that I will note about Fluke that makes these meters more safe than others on the market. Fluke is the only company that actually has the instruments, the big benchtop instruments to create transients and actually shock these things and make sure they're still passing their safety. So unlike, um, I always say Fluke and Amprobe as a result, because Amprobe is a Fluke company, we issue recalls. It's not that we never have recalls, but we issue recalls because we catch it in the lab. Almost never does somebody get hurt, but we issue recalls when we catch it in the lab. Our competitors, none of them have the ability to shock and test meters like that. So what ends up happening is they um, issue recalls when somebody gets hurt. And you don't want to be that person that gets hurt. Let's buy from a company that really is going to protect us um, and thinks through... Um, and test these meters doesn't assume that they're working correctly um, the other thing is you will see on the back of these meters that they have been third-party tested let me see if I can find like CE and there's probably some other tests in here I can't see them all you can see this insulation testing let me get uh, 
see if I can find one that's got better markings that are easier to see. So you see all these different testing organizations. These are third-party testing organizations. And Fluke pays for all of these. A reputable brand should have one or multiple of these third-party testing zones. But the thing is, just because a third party tests it doesn't mean that the meter is always safe because a third party you can test, but then your production, what if your production changes, which production always changes, you don't have to go back and retest. So the fact that Fluke has their own instruments to shock and test these things makes them, uh, should give you a vote of confidence that they're, they're going to be safer. The other thing I wanted to point out were these test leads. Um, all test leads you could come with, you see now, probably come looking like this and they have a little cone a plastic cone on them and everybody takes that and throws it away immediately well if you look at this you can see this is, says category 2 1000 volts so what is category 2 that is like an office setting that is not an industrial setting okay most flute customers are going to be in industrial settings thus when you spin it you see only four millimeters of metal exposed. Now it's a category three, 1000 volt, category four, 600 volt. And the other note to say in general, if you wanna go by the code is all of, if you do any work outside, you technically need a category four rated meter. And why is that? Because if you are outside, the potential to have a lightning strike nearby, even if you're doing something low voltage, like a sprinkler line or something on a roof, like an HVAC unit on the roof, you need a category four rated meter because if you did have a lightning strike nearby, there's a potential that lightning strike could get on the line and then through your meter. And you want that category four rating for all outside needs. Okay, back to the test leads. Not only do you get this to where you're never going to throw the cone away like you would with regular test leads, you can re um, retract the shroud or extend the shroud to um, as you need fit. Now, in a lot of these industrial environments, extra metal exposed, the potential of touching the back of a terminal block and something else or the back of the box and something else at the same time is much greater when you have this much metal exposed and that could cause an arc. Whereas with this, you have very little chance of having this touch more than one piece of metal at a time. So that's why that standard exists. The other things you get with the TL-175s, these, um, these test leads, or you can get TP-175s if you want to get them in like a kit like this where they're interchangeable with the leads. So that's, there's the TP-175s. Um, but if you, so you get, you not only get that, the shroud, so you can exchange it for the TL-175s, you get a better um, stress relief at the end, so it'll last a lot longer on both that end and this end than the standard leads from Fluke or any other company. And they're silicone leads, so they're much nicer, more flexible leads. And they have two layers of insulation. So if this gets cut or nicked, you actually see a white layer underneath there, which if you see the white layer, you know you need to replace the lead before you get down to the metal that you'd be exposed to. It just gives you a better indication when you're inspecting your leads. And hopefully, in theory, you're inspecting your leads every time before you use them, run your, th your thumb past them, looking at them, making sure there's no cuts or nicks. More about that on test leads. Um, test leads are very inexpensive. There's no reason to uh, hold on to a set of test leads for years on end. Once your test lead is a year old or you start seeing any kind of wear and tear, it's time to buy a new set of test leads because all of the, you know, you can have the best meter in the world and it can protect you, but all the energy that's going to go through the meter has to first go through these test leads and the test leads are what you're holding in your hand. So protect your hands, protect your life, get a good set of test leads, replace them on a regular basis, especially if they ever get damaged. And hopefully that gives you a little bit of information about both the test leads and these meters and the category ratings. And you can see, you know, lower category rating, a lot of times a more compact meter, higher category rating is going to be a bigger meter because of that clearance. I hope this was helpful. This is kind of just a safety update. And uh, thank you for the idea. One of my colleagues, Mr. Mike, told me this and uh, I like it. So you guys have a great weekend. And if you liked what I said or you didn't, but you like the channel anyways, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button if this was valuable information. Thanks and have a good weekend. We'll see you next week.